Hey guys, welcome to Porter's three month update. Porter is three months old now and look how big he is. I swear every day, well every other day I look at him and I'm like, your face is changing again. So I thought I would just give a little update as to how Porter is doing at three months old now. Porter is now 15 pounds, which is crazy he is huge and i feel it when i hold him when gray was three months he weighed only 14 pounds so porter is heavier right now um porter is also 24 and a half inches long um and so he's again just big big he weighs a lot and he's really tall I'm not sure how long Porter will sit for this, but um, we will see. <laughs> Porter has been drooling a ton, and I'm not sure if it's he's starting to teeth, which would be super, super early. I hope that's not the case. Or if it's just like he's just drooling a lot just because he is and that's what babies do i'm not really sure but he is drooling a ton i don't remember grayson drooling as much um but he has i've been putting little bibs on him i should put a bib on him right now because the front of his shirt will get so soaked um, this month, Porter has gone backwards in his night sleep. He used to be sleeping throughout the night, and this month he's been waking up more often. He does not sleep through the night. Every once in a while he will, but it's more likely that he will wake up once, twice. The other night he woke up four times. <laughs> that one was really bad. I'm just hoping that this is just a growth spurt, and hopefully um, he will go back to sleeping through the night soon because I've been really, really tired. He is still... Um, eating breast milk exclusively that's been going really well um, by three months old Grayson was rejecting um, my breasts I don't know why and so I had to pump all the time and I could only feed him bottles it was a lot and so Porter has been doing awesome and eating well obviously because look how chunky he is he is not going hungry Porter has yet to roll over since October and I'm not really sure why this is the case um, but he still has not rolled over and he still really hates tummy time um, anytime I put him down I try to um, put him down anywhere between three and five minutes and most of the time I can only get him to about three minutes before he's screaming so he hates it he is starting to warm up to bath time um, he is starting to like it I think um, and um, enjoys being in the in the water I just um, bathe them in the sink for now I can't wait to get them into the bathtub with Grayson I think that would be really fun but for now I just do the sink I still only do about once or twice a week baths um, just because his skin just gets so dry whenever I do bathe him. Uh, Porter is smiling all the time. He definitely gives his biggest smiles to Anthony and me, um, but he does smile at others. And he is talking a whole ton too. Um, he is just a happy little boy and um, he's starting to use different pitches and different sound lengths. Um, and every day I feel like he's doing a different sound, so that's super fun. He does seem to be getting maybe into that stranger danger just a little bit which I feel like is kind of early but maybe not there's been a couple times this past month where he's been fine and then somebody will come up and try to hold him or just get in his line of vision and he will freak out um, and so I'm not sure if it's just like they scare him like he didn't realize they were there or if it's the stranger thing I don't know uh, yeah so that's been happening a little bit he still loves to be held doesn't really want me putting him down at all he it depends on the day some days um, he does okay um, if I need need to put him down um, I put him in his play gym and that usually will keep him happy for about five minutes the swing is off and on some days he loves it some days he hates it um, we just got out his little bouncer um, I'll put a little snapchat video of that here Jump! Touch! Kinda. <laughs> so I'm just gonna eat the seed. Bananas! <laughs> what do you think? He seems to like it okay. He really just eats the, likes the seed a lot. 
Um, but he can't touch the ground. I don't think he's really gotten the bouncing motion yet, but hopefully as he gets bigger, he will figure that out. His head is rounding out and looking so much better. His neck control is awesome. He can really hold his head up. He still has a wobbly head at times, but it's so much better than what it was. And so that's been going really well. He still has blue eyes, lots of dark hair, although I'll try and show you. He has a bald spot in the back. <laughs> I think just from like laying on his back when he sleeps. So um, yeah, it's kind of funny to see him like that. Porter has discovered his hands this month and so he's always trying to chew on his fingers, chew on his hands. I'll input like a picture or some videos in of that. Um, I always call it he's eating his ice cream cone um, and the funny thing is is he found his fingers and so he'll put his fingers in his mouth but he'll put his fingers like all the way in his mouth and start to gag himself uh, one time I had fed him and I was burping him and he was like chewing on his fingers and ended up gagging himself and puking all the milk up I was like are you bulimic what are you doing <laughs> So that's been challenging, but yes, he has found his hands. He is also able to grasp objects. So I have a picture and some videos of that. Are you chewing on your chew toy? He can, um, if I give it to him, he'll pick up an object and he'll swing it around. I don't think he really understands like that he has control of that or like his hands or anything, but um, he has learned to do that. It was funny the other day, I was just sitting with him and all of a sudden he just like was moving his hand around and then he like noticed his hand and he was like looking at it and he ended up like hitting himself in the face with his hand. I was dying laughing, it was so funny. He is in three to six month clothes now. Um, I could barely fit him into uh, three month clothes and so really it's three to six or even six month clothes. He's just huge. Um, and also he should be in size two diapers, but I'm trying to get him through all of our size one. We just have a couple more to go. And so as soon as I finish that pack, I'm moving him to size two because he is way too big for the size ones. He still loves watching Big Brother Grayson. He thinks he is so cool and so entertaining. Um, it was funny because Grayson left um, for a couple days this past month. And it was weird because I had to entertain Porter instead of him just watching Grayson. So that was kind of funny. Also this past month, um, we moved Grayson into his big boy bed so that Porter could now be in his crib. So I'll input a video, a picture of that. I do naps in the crib now. Every nap he does in the crib. And then at night, I still have him in the bassinet because he is waking up multiple times at night. He does fine in the crib, doesn't really mind it. I still swaddle him and I still have uh, white noise playing. The swaddle, I used to have him in swaddle knees, but then he got too big for them. So now I have him in just the halo swaddles. They're okay, but he can get his hands free very easily out of that, so. That's been kind of a challenge. Um, naps, he's not consistent, which I guess with the age, like he's only three months, so he's not very consistent yet. Um, it kind of depends. Some days he'll do 45 minute naps all day. Um, he seems to have an hour and a half to two hour awake time between each nap. Um, usually he'll have like an hour and a half to two hour nap in the morning. He'll have a pretty sizable nap in the afternoon. Um, and then in the evening, sometimes I can get him to take one last nap and sometimes I can't. If he takes a nap in the evening, I'll keep him up till nine. If 
he won't take a nap in the evening, then I usually put him down to bed maybe an hour earlier, hour and a half earlier, 7.38 instead of nine. So it just kind of depends. So usually he takes a nap around 9 a.m., then he'll get up around 11, 11.30, then um, he will be up and then he'll go back down around 2, 2.30 and then he'll take a little nap and then again, sometimes I can get him to take a nap around 4.35 and sometimes he just doesn't want to take a nap and so then he is up in a party boy. So it just kind of depends. He's never consistent, but he is taking naps in the crib, which I am thankful for. Um, once he gets too big for the bassinet, I will be moving him to the crib at night. Um, so we're just waiting to see, you know, on his time what he wants to do. Porter has started standing. He's standing on my legs right now. He only does it for a little bit of time, but he is getting strong, you guys. And so I'm just waiting for him to start getting mobile and rolling and crawling. And I think he's gonna walk early, but we'll see. Gray didn't walk until he was after, until after he was one years old. So we'll see what Porter does. This past month, we celebrated Thanksgiving. We've done lights at the zoo, um, lots of Christmas things because Christmas is coming soon. So it's been a very busy month, lots of first for a little porter, first nap in the crib, things like that. He's starting to get grumpy, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do this video too much longer, but I don't think there's really too much more to say about him. He's a pretty happy guy for the most part. He does have his witching hour in the evenings, um, but I think that's normal for any baby. Um, but other than that, as long as I'm holding him, he's usually pretty happy. Um, he will take a nap on me if, if I need him to, otherwise he does prefer the crib. But I think that's kind of it. He's obviously getting tired of it. He says, Mom, I'm tired. You need to stand up and hold me. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys. He's got the hiccups. He always gets the hiccups after he eats. <laughs>